Let's go over deploying a custom solution in SharePoint 2010. I have logged in to one of the web servers in the SharePoint farm. This is the solution package I want to deploy. Notice it is located in the root of the local C drive. To save myself some typing in the near future, I'm going to go ahead and copy the name of the file to the clipboard. Before deploying the solution, the solution must be added to the SharePoint solution database. To do this, you must use PowerShell. Open the management shell by clicking Start, All Programs, Microsoft SharePoint 2010 Products, SharePoint 2010 Management Shell. At the prompt, you have to type the command to import the solution. The command is add SP solution literal path and then the path and file name of the WSP file including its extension. You'll see something similar to this after the solution has been imported. Notice under the deploy column it says false. So let's deploy it. The easiest way is by using the UI in central administration. Click system settings and then manage farm solutions. Here you'll see all the solutions that have been imported. In this case it's just the one so let's go ahead and click that solution name. As you can see once again it's currently not deployed. So let's deploy it. Here you specify when you want the solution to be deployed. If you're deploying a large solution across multiple web servers that are heavily used, you may want to specify a time when their server will have a low load. For now though, I'm going to just specify now. After it has been deployed, if we click on the name of the solution, you'll see you no longer have the option to deploy it. Instead, you can retract it, which basically means remove it from SharePoint. Every solution is different, but generally you'll have to activate the site collection feature it installs. So I'm going to open my site collection and access the site collection features. This is found by clicking Site Actions, Site Settings, and then Site Collection Features. As you can see, the password change solution has been added. Click Active to activate it. Once activated, I can test this particular solution by clicking on my name and seeing if I'm presented with the option to change my password. I am, so all is good. Now, if you want to retract the solution, it's best practice to first deactivate the site collection feature. Again, return the site collection features and this time click Deactivate. Verify you want the feature to be deactivated. After it has been deactivated from all site collections on which it was active, you can retract the solution. Do this by returning to Central Administration and accessing the Farm Solutions page. Click on the solution name and click Retract Solution. Again, you can specify a time. I'm just going to leave it as now and click OK. When I refresh, you can see it's retracting. When I click refresh again, you can see that it is not deployed. This means the solution has been successfully retracted.